Over the past two years of running my web design agency, project management has been one of the most difficult and stressful things to manage. When it comes to project management, there's so much you have to think about. There's website projects, SEO retainers, website management retainers, I have a YouTube channel to run, social media accounts, and just life in general. I mean, with so much to manage, it can be really hard, and you really need a tool that fits all of your needs. Now, in my experience trying different platforms, I have not been able to find the platform that is flexible and versatile enough to really fit my needs. But that's why I'm excited to bring you this video on the tool Notion. So my agency has been trying out Notion for the past couple weeks, and so far I'm really loving it, and I think that this is the perfect fit for our agency. But before I get started, my name is Dylan Davino. I'm the founder of Davino Digital. We're an agency that specializes in website design, development, management, and SEO. Over the past two years, I've been able to take my agency from $0 a month all the way up to about $10,000 this past month. And I think that with Notion, we're going to be able to surpass that $10,000 a month every single month. All right, so we're here on the Notion dashboard. Um, if you haven't seen Notion before, this is what it looks like. So one of the first things you'll notice is it has a very clean, modern look to it. Um, there's not too many buttons and you can actually completely customize the dashboard to look the way that you want it to. So over here on the left side, you have team spaces that you could add or remove team members from in order to manage different types of tasks. So we have a Davino Digital team space, a web design team space, an SEO and site management, and a social media. Now with these different team spaces, we're able to manage everything from YouTube videos to internal tasks to client tasks to website management. And with all of these team spaces, I feel like it helps us stay really organized and it allows us to have the flexibility to manage all of these different types of things just using the different Notion team spaces. All right, so I'll start out by going through the Divino Digital team space. So you could see that we have a lot of things under the Divino Digital team space, including a dashboard, tasks, projects, um, a knowledge base, SOPs, tools, meetings, um, even more. So I'm going to start diving through it and just go through uh, the most important ones in my opinion. So this team dashboard kind of just takes you through a couple of the most basic ones that you should check out um, when you load up Notion. So we kind of have a knowledge base and SOPs, which are for onboarding new team members and showing people what our processes are. Um, company links us out to different things like our contact lists, our, all of the tools that we use, our assets for marketing. Um, and then over here on the right side, we have goals, and I'm gonna continue to add more to this column here. Next up, we have the task space. So right here, you could see all of the different tasks for Davino Digital. Um, and you could see who is assigned to the task, when is it due, what's the priority level, um, and you can also change the status from not started to in progress to done. And I think this is really cool. It's not much different than a lot of other platforms in terms of tracking tasks, but I think the coolest part about Notion is the fact that this whole dashboard was customized the way that we wanted it to be. And you can come in here and add whatever fields that you want to in order to make it fit your needs. So under the tools column, you're gonna see all of the tools that we're currently paying for for our agency. And I'm in the middle of you know choosing a lot of new tools. Obviously Notion is one of them, um, but I'm gonna use this platform right here to keep track of all of the expenses of the agency and really have everything broken down and categorized. I think this tab is pretty cool. Um, here we could keep track of all the meetings we have throughout the week and we can put our meeting links here just in case somebody, you know, forgot about a meeting or they just want to find the link and join right away. All right, now before I move on to the next team space, if you wouldn't mind, leave me a thumbs up on the video and consider trying out Notion for yourself. Um, I did just become a Notion affiliate, so if you want to support the channel, you could also click that link below and try the tool out for free. Now the YouTube page is one of my favorites because I love the way that this board is set up here. Um, we can keep track of videos that we want to do from ideas to fire ideas to, okay, we're going to write a script for it and then we're going to film it. And then, you know, it's going to be edited and we're going to post it. And with this board column here, we have all of the fields and all of the tools necessary to be able to fill out these videos and keep track of them. All right, so next up we have the web design team space. 
and this one is really for keeping track of new website design and development projects. So we can keep track of um, which ones are in the discovery phase, so we're kind of in the middle of onboarding them or just figuring out if they are going to work with us, and then you know getting all of their client materials and figuring out what they want to do. The planning stage is all about figuring out what they really want for their site, uh, making sure that we have everything ready to go before we begin design and development. And then of course you have design and development um, where we can you know, take these tasks and we can keep track of a lot of different things about it within this project template. So whenever you create a new web design project, you're able to create a custom template to keep track of the things you're working on. So. We can um, you know, look at milestone and delivery and we can take notes about what the client said and we can keep track of everything you could imagine right here in this Notion template. And similar to some of the other ones you've been seeing, um, we can customize all of the fields that you want within this project um, to really make it fit your needs. Next up we have SEO and site management. Now this is pretty self-explanatory, but this is how we're going to keep track of all of our SEO retainers as well as website management retainers. So. If a client comes to us asking for revisions to their website, we can create tasks within these projects and we can keep track of when that task will be due, we can write all the notes about what the client wanted for that revision, and you could even link videos if you wanted to use Loom or Vimeo to screen record and talk about what the client wants. And lastly, we have the social media board. So we can create one of these duplicate boards for every single social media project that we bring on and we can keep track of the ideas for posts, um, we can plan the posts, write the captions, create the graphics, and then we can have the client review the posts and also approve them um, for us to schedule. And one more thing I wanna show you that I love about Notion is I created this personal team space that only I could see, and here I could keep track of my habits, movies I wanna watch, recipes, notes, like I'm the type of person that I have so many ideas and I'm always writing things down on my phone and instead of using my phone, I really want to migrate everything to Notion. So probably one of my favorite parts about Notion is the fact that you can open up templates right here and you can scroll through hundreds or maybe thousands of different options for ways that you want to keep track of things um, depending on what's the purpose of this thing. So is it a product? Are you an engineering team? Are you a design team? Um, there's so many different types of layouts and these are all custom built by other Notion users and so they have so many different features and fields and there's so much thought put into some of them that I just love the fact that you have all of this flexibility and the ways that you can customize Notion to really fit your needs. Well that wraps up the video. I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, I know that I'm still in the process of filling out my Notion. You know, we just started a couple weeks ago so don't roast me too hard because some things are empty. Um, but I do love this tool. I've really been enjoying it over the past couple weeks and I think that this is going to be the tool that we really stick with and run with for the next couple of years. If you do want to try out Notion, I do have that affiliate link down below. You could try it out for free. And if you did find the video helpful, remember to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.